Avatar is a 2009 American epic science fiction film directed, written, produced, and co-edited by James Cameron. The film made extensive use of new motion capture filming techniques and was released for traditional viewing, 3D viewing, and for 4D experiences in select South Korean theaters. Avatar was released in the United States on December 18, 2009 to positive reviews, with critics highly praising its groundbreaking visual effects. During its theatrical run, the film broke several box office records and became the highest-grossing film at the time, as well as in the United States and Canada. Avatar is the second-highest-grossing movie of all time with a total of more than $3 billion. It also became the first film to gross more than $2 billion and the best-selling video title of 2010 in the United States. Avatar was nominated for nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director, and won three for Best Art Direction, Best Cinematography, and Best Visual Effects. The success of the film also led to electronics manufacturers releasing 3D televisions and caused 3D films to increase in popularity. In 2154, humans have depleted Earth's natural resources, leading to a severe energy crisis. The Resources Development Administration RDA, mines a valuable mineral unobtainium on Pandora, a densely forested habitable moon orbiting Polyphemus, a fictional gas giant in the Alpha Centauri star system. Pandora, whose atmosphere is poisonous to humans, is inhabited by the Navi, a species of 10-foot-tall, 3.0m, blue-skinned, sapient humanoids that live in harmony with nature and worship a mother goddess named Iwa. To explore Pandora's biosphere, scientists use Navi-human hybrids called avatars, operated by genetically matched humans. Jake Sully, a paraplegic former Marine, replaces his deceased identical twin brother as an operator of one. Dr. Grace Augustine, head of the Avatar program, considers Sully an inadequate replacement but accepts his assignment as a bodyguard. While escorting the avatars of Grace and fellow scientist Dr. Norm Spellman, Jake's avatar is attacked by a thinator and flees into the forest, where he is rescued by Neytiri, a female Navi. Witnessing an auspicious sign, she takes him to her clan. Neytiri's mother Mott, the clan's spiritual leader orders her daughter to initiate Jake into their society. Colonel Miles Quaritch, head of RDA Private Security Force, promises Jake that the company will restore his legs if he gathers information about the Navi and the clan's gathering place, a giant tree called Home Tree, which stands above the richest deposit of unobtainium in the area. When Grace learns of this, she transfers herself, Jake, and Norm to an outpost. Over the following three months, Jake and Natiri fall in love as Jake grows to sympathize with the natives.
brother Jake is initiated into the tribe, he and Nitiri choose each other as mates. Soon afterward, Jake reveals his change of allegiance when he attempts to disable a bulldozer that threatens to destroy a sacred Navi site. When Quaritch shows a video recording of Jake's attack on the bulldozer to Administrator Parker Selfridge, and another in which Jake admits that the Navi will never abandon Home Tree, Selfridge orders Home Tree destroyed. Despite Grace's argument that destroying Home Tree could damage the biological neural network native to Pandora, Selfridge gives Jake and Grace one hour to convince the Navi to evacuate before commencing the attack. Jake confesses to the Navi that he was a spy, and they take him and Grace captive. Quarachi's men destroy Home Tree, killing Natiri's father, the clan chief, and many others. Mod frees Jake and Grace, but they are detached from their avatars and imprisoned by Quarachi's forces. Pilot Trudy Chacken, disgusted by Quaritch's brutality, frees Jake, Grace, and Norm, and airlifts them to Grace's outpost, but Grace is shot by Quaritch during the escape. To regain the Navi's trust, Jake connects his mind to that of Toruk, a dragon-like predator feared and honored by the Navi. Jake finds the refugees at the Sacred Tree of Souls and pleads with Mott to heal Grace. The clan attempts to transfer Grace from her human body into her avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls, but she dies before the process can be completed. Supported by the new Chief Sudi, Jake unites the clan and tells them to gather all of the clans to battle the RDA. Quaritch organizes a preemptive strike against the Tree of Souls, believing that its destruction will demoralize the natives.
On the eve of battle, Jake prays to Iwa, via a neural connection with the Tree of Souls, to intercede on behalf of the Navi. During the subsequent battle, the Navi suffer heavy casualties, including Sudi and Trudy, but are rescued when Pandoran wildlife unexpectedly join the attack and overwhelm the humans, which Natiri interprets as I was answer to Jake's prayer. Jake destroys a makeshift bomber before it can reach the Tree of Souls. Quaritch, wearing an AMP suit, escapes from his own damaged aircraft, then later finds and breaks open the Avatar Link unit containing Jake's human body, exposing it to Pandora's poisonous atmosphere. Quaritch prepares to slit the throat of Jake's avatar, but Neytiri kills Quaritch and saves Jake from suffocation, human form for the first time. With the exceptions of Jake, Norm, and a select few others, all humans are expelled from Pandora and sent back to Earth. Jake is permanently transferred into his avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls, 